everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video we are taking a quick trip to Stockholm Aquarium uh, to get some inspiration and uh, hopefully you will get some inspiration from these images too. Uh, so I'm just showing you some of the footage that I took before we head into some sketching um, but I took a ton of photos for reference and I have uploaded them to my Pinterest page so if anybody is interested in using them to draw from, then you are more than welcome. I'll drop the link in the description below. Um, so yeah, because there's so many beautiful fish that I decided I wanted to go ahead and sketch some of them. But it was actually, it was quite hard because the fish, they swim so fast so you don't really get an awful lot of chance to look at them. So I'm sure my reference images are going to be coming in pretty handy. And I do apologise also for the quality of the light. It was quite dark in some areas of the uh, aquarium um, because they've lit up the tanks. So it's dark where all the people are. Um, so just a quick, uh, some quick sketches that you can see there. So once I got home, I decided to use my reference photographs and I sketched out this little piece on some Archer's 300 gram watercolour paper. I am testing out sketching it with a coloured pencil this time instead of graphite um, because I sometimes notice that graphite can smudge and cause the watercolours to get a little bit muddy. So I've seen this tip um, to use coloured pencils. So this is just a regular colour pencil. I don't have any of the special uh, colour raise um, pencils that I often see people using. I just went ahead and used a normal one in blue so that it would blend a little bit better with the watercolours and it seemed to have done a pretty good job um, but I can understand it's probably hard for you to see what I'm actually painting um, until it appears on the screen. Um, I am using the uh, St Petersburg White Knights watercolours to paint this and uh, I feel like I had a little bit more success than I did last time. Um, the paints didn't dry quite as quickly. I'm still having issues with not being able to get really really crisp edges but I'm guessing that's just uh, something I'm going to have to keep practicing. I think it also has to do with um, how fluid and wet I have the watercolours and like in this section now I was struggling with the size of the brush I should have changed. I should have probably done wet in wet so that I'd wet the paper first and uh, then gone in with the blue pigment but you learn from your mistakes and uh, hopefully I will get better with time. Um, I did actually quite like the blue effects that I got um, along the edge of where the sand is. Um, I think that was because I went back in before while well, the paint had started to dry but it hadn't dried fully I then went back in and tried to water it down and drag it out across the rest of the paper and it then caused this feathery technique and I actually in this case really liked it as sometimes I don't like that effect even though you end up with that effect quite often with watercolours. Um, but I feel like I'm getting used a little bit more used to how to add more detail. Um, obviously some things I did in the wrong order like here I should have really painted the undersides of those um, I don't know what you'd call them, sea anemones, urchins, uh, some sort of underwater plant. I should have painted those first before I put all the spikes on. Um, but there you go, you live and you learn. Um, I have actually been um, practicing in my sketchbook with the, um, water, with the paintbrushes to try and get finer lines and things. So in this piece you'll actually see that I do go in on several of the plants and add more details. I've been trying to practice getting thinner lines and dots um, so I thought it would be nice to try and add some extra texture to these plants. It didn't quite work on those um, on the plants down in the left hand corner. Um, I couldn't uh, for some reason I couldn't get them to look so three-dimensional so that's something I'll need to work on but I was really quite pleased with the way I managed to do the shadows on the um, on the plants that are to the left and in the middle. Um, I actually went back afterwards and added some extra um, details with shadows and things and I even remembered this time that maybe I needed a shadow on the ground for those plants as well. Um, so I do feel like I am slowly slowly improving. Um, many things that I still need to work on but I'm sure I'll get there in the end. 
Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave you now and go over to the music. Um, if you like what you see, feel free to uh, hit the like button. If you'd like to come back and see more in a sim similar style, like to see me learn how to use watercolours, but even uh, draw with other mediums, um, then feel free to subscribe as well. And uh, yeah, I will see you in my next video. Bye!